you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 13th friday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 17 verses 26 to 37 Just as it was in the days of Noah so too it will be in the days of the son of man they were eating and drinking and marrying and being given in marriage until the day Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed all of them likewise just as it was in the days of Lot they were eating and drinking buying and selling planting and building but on the day that lord left sodom it rained fire and sulfur from heaven and destroyed all of them it will be like that on the day that the son of man is revealed on that day anyone on the house top who was belonging in the house must not come down to take them away and likewise anyone in the field must not turn back remember lord's wife those who try to make their life secure will lose it but those who lose their life will keep it i tell you on that night there will be two in one bed one will be taken and the other left there will be two women grinding meal together one will be taken and the other left then they asked him where lord he said to them where the corpse is there the vultures will gather the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends jesus is coming to the end of his public life his passion and death is going to be a dramatic experience for his followers which will take them by surprise and fill them with a shock and alarm later still but before luke had put his gospel together a catalyst had overtaken jerusalem when the city was laid siege to and utterly destroyed and the magnificent temple with it the disaster is commemorated in ark in the ark in rome erected to honor the emperor titus victory where one can see the reliefs of the treasures of the temple being carried off as loot last of all there is the end of all things when our world will be no more what or the how the what or the how of that end is something we know nothing about in a sense all three endings are included in jesus one today his main lesson is for us to be ready and not to think that uh, we can postpone our preparations then when the end strikes it will be ready too late jesus gives the example of the time of the flood when people ate and drink right at the moment of the disaster similarly the days of lot people were leading their ordinary lives when fire and brimstone rained down on the wicked city of sodom only lot and his family who had been previously warned escaped almost every day we read in our papers of similar catalysts when the day of the son of man is revealed that is when he comes at the end of time it will be too late to take emergency measures one will either be ready or not if one is resting on the roof of the one's bows don't think of coming down one person will be taken away and the companion left behind yes these texts are not intended to fill us with the fear or a foreboding of a capricious god they are timely advice not to be caught napping but to remain alert to meet the lord it is good advice not just for the end of our lives but for every day and every moment of every day if i am always ready now i will be ready then by living continuously and consciously in the presence of god in that divine milieu of the kingdom mentioned above in the ever present now 
we are not going to be caught by surprise. Far from being afraid, we will look forward to the day with anticipation, leaving totally in God's hands the aha of his call. In practice, too, that final call will not coincide with the end of our planet, but with the moment when our individual life on this earth will come to its end. Of the inevitability of that end, there is no doubt. Amen. May God bless us.